All right, I'm going to start this uh, Outlook to Gmail video with a disclaimer. In Gmail, you have unlimited storage, so it's not nearly as important to uh, get rid of attachments on messages and messages with attachments as it was in Outlook with your limited mailbox. That being said, we also don't want to permanently store things offline and complicate our uh, organization in our Google Drive if we can avoid it. So I'm going to talk to you about attachments on messages now and take it for what it's worth. I don't usually do much of anything with them other than leave them in. So when you see this paper clip, when you're in the compact view in your inbox, it means there's an attachment. So I've selected this message from Hillary for model schools, and you can see it's got a PDF attachment here. If I wanted to download this to my local PC and put it on my desktop or into an F drive, I would click the download button. If I want to save it directly into my Google Drive, I would click the Save to Drive button. Notice that when I click on that Save to Drive, it goes right into my main drive folder unless I click this Organize, where I can choose which folder within my Google Drive I want to file that message into. Okay. Once I've selected it, I can say Move, and it puts that document into that folder. Okay. That's one way to deal with it. If you just wanted to print out an attachment because you need a paper copy of it for a meeting or something, you can click on it once, and then your print button is going to appear up here. Okay? Notice that you also have the option of moving it within your Google Drive or downloading it from here. You can also choose to open it with. What we're looking at right now is the preview window in Gmail, where it simply shows me a preview of the message that I can scroll through and look at. If I wanted to open it because I wanted to type on it or something, I'd have to have an, an add-on for Google Drive that lets me interact with PDFs. Okay. Notice I can choose Google Docs and it'll try to convert it, but that's going to be a 50-50 thing, especially depending on the format. I use Kami to annotate on PDFs, and that's a, a, an add-on you would have to add to your account. Okay, So that's dealing with attachments to emails in Gmail. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button down here and the like button down here if you like this video content and you want more of it.